Mic test one good. One, two, one, two, check, check. I'm Shane Bergman. This is Impractical Brokers. I'm Jesse Roddinghaus. This is Impractical Brokers, where we're cutting through the bullshit, breaking down the gatekeeping in real estate and business, and discussing the impractical ways to be successful. Time out. You can cut that. Welcome to Impractical Brokers. Like, I mean, it's the fucking show, and then you can say... <laughs> Hey everyone, thank you for joining us today from wherever it's at, whether it's on a electronic device, in an automobile, a radio, either way, we appreciate it. Welcome to Impractical Brokers. Uh, today we have a very exciting guest. Her name is Leslie Heimer with American Liberty Mortgage. She's been in the business 20 years. She's a third generation oh, lender that hurt. and uh, really excited to have her today. So welcome to the show, Leslie. Thank you, Jesse and Shane. Yeah. yeah. It's like a little knife when you hear that you've been in your career that long because it's a reminder. Well, you must have just like you started when you were like just 10, which is impressive. Angel, right. Yeah, it's amazing. <laughs> yeah. Can't yeah. But it. being in, but since you brought that up and, and it's interesting, we'll just dive right into dive it in. with regards to the years in business, right? Is that well, there's so many layers we have to get to, but there's when you've been in the business for 20 years, a lot of times, and especially right now, that's a stigma, right? In our oh, market, yeah. people are like, "Oh, I've been in the business 15 years, decades." And it, it used to you really? used to walk around. It was like a like a like a like you're like puffing a statement your chest, of valor, like, right? Right. Yeah. Like, oh, really? Whereas, Do you know how to use email then, or no? Right. Is that but, a negative? You still fax? Yeah. You're still faxing shit. <laughs> exactly. But which is amazing with regards to you and, and your tenure in the business um, as a lender. But we'll get into that you're a hybrid because you're also a real estate agent as well, a good one at that. But but being in the business for 20 years, over the what's so impressive is a, your social connection. And by the way, I might as well jump in and say how we met originally. Yeah. So right. when we met just about seven years ago, we met from a mailer. You would, I put out a mailer at a brokerage that I was at in an area where you lived That's and you right, were your lender and you called me and you were like, hey, Hustling listen, it. you're like, I just want to let you know, which was so phenomenal because you called me and you said, I just want to let you know that your mailer is great. I've got no house to sell to you. <laughs> you I've got nothing for you, but, so I'm a, lame. but I'm a local lender. No, but what was so great about it was the connection you basically called to, you know, Compliment Say, your work. Yeah, compliment the work. Yeah. And yeah. you were and and then that was a connection where you and you were like, look, if you ever want to grab lunch, talk about business, I'm here. Yeah. Right. And that was the I love that you're sharing that, Jesse, because that's just such a good reminder. Oh, so many times in our careers, no matter how long you've been doing this, sometimes you got to get back to basics. And I was opening a new branch in Dr. Phillips, and I had to like you know, make some calls and do that weird thing that you do when you're first starting out, even though you're sometimes first starting out again and again and again. It's like but, door knocking for real yeah, estate agents. Right. That's it was what you the were same. And the... now look, yeah, yeah. A very wow. fruitful relationship. Did you remember that? Did you remember yeah, that? Yeah, I kind of do now that you say That's, that. Yeah. I couldn't remember if like I had uh, some events that you had come to that I begged you to come to, read as yeah. real estate. and But you're right. It was like- It was the mailer. Yeah. And nobody them. likes doing that Which, kind of but, stuff. No, but what's That's funny- not easy. Yeah. It's a cold call. And, right. And getting back to the years in business, what I was the point I was trying to make was- you know, your social media game that has really flourished over, what would you say, the last three, four yeah, years? Yeah, probably like three, four time. years, yeah. yeah. But that is the mailer. Right. Like it's the digital mailer, right. you know what I mean? Yep. And you're now still making totally the calls, is. but right. it's just different. They're ending up in a DM or they're totally. like, hey, who are that's you? That's such right? a good I mean, point. Like that's, yeah, Absolutely. So, yeah. Yep, that is. It is. We've had to We've had to adjust and adapt and evolve in our careers. And I always think like every industry surely has had to do that at our age. I think I'm just going to pretend like I'm the same age as you guys, if that's okay for the purposes of you this. You are. <laughs> okay. Absolutely, you are. I think definitely is Jesse's like, age. In a, <laughs> <laughs> Thank you. I think we're I think in welcome. like a very unique age group that if you're in your 40s, that you have enough experience to have some like tenure and seasonality to know and be an expert in your field. But yet you're young enough to be able to like still try and keep up and mm -hmm. know how to work the smart TV and social media. So it's a very like unique um, position and opportunity that we have, I think. But you you have to constantly be pushing yourself to keep up with all of this. I mean, it changes daily. But, right. Yeah. Which is, again, talking about like the years. Right. And, and it doesn't it that isn't the now it's like it, the 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 um, what was I going to say? The, the stigma. Well, I, I like even think about so 20 years in, in yeah. um, 
any business, the there's going to be a lot of change. Mm -hmm. And I think it was maybe five, 10 years ago where people were like, social media doing shit in there. It's totally. never going to get you business. What's media. the ROI? Like right. all of those other things. And now people are like, oh shit. Oh, look at right. the followers. Oh shit. Yeah. Right. That's oh, what I was going to say. Yeah. Yeah. The followers is the valor rather than right. Right? the, 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 yeah. the resume I, versus the years in business. They just look at like, oh my gosh, this person's right. producing, you must know what which, about. which in turn, like a lot of the newer like whether it's lenders, real estate agents, whatever they are, they're out there hustling on the social platforms mm -hmm. and they have two years worth of business right. or two years worth of experience, right? Right, right. But, they, but digitally they look like, oh my gosh, yeah. you're a seasoned okay, pro. Yeah. Right, So it really right. doesn't matter how many, I, anyway. Right. Not, you crush it on, yeah. on social. Thank you. Like it's, I do feel like, impressive. I'm sure you, I mean, you guys are such superstars, but like when you've been doing it a while, I, I feel like I have endless content. Yeah. You guys do too. Like every day is like a mind blowing and, content <laughs> in our business just because it's such a fascinating industry and so dramatic every yeah. day, our jobs. Yeah. So you're saying your con like experiences in your industry and in your field where that's like, that's content, that's an right, idea, that's right. something. Exactly. Yeah, that's definitely something to do. And that seems like to be the direction where a lot of your stuff is mm -hmm. primarily focused on. Right. And so it's coming from real world experiences. Mm -hmm. Right. I which wish it was one more of, entertaining. Which one of the, and I just saw that you reposted this, I think, but one of the um, your your most productive post was about rates and payments, yeah. right? Like talking yeah. just about that. I mean, lenders so talk nerdy. about rates every single day, payments, right. and you're talking to customers about it. Every Why single not do day. it on a whiteboard, which yeah. is what you did, and it killed. Yeah, like it I just, know. I'm yeah. so excited about what that. Was one. it 500,000 yeah. views? Yeah. Like, Literally, I, I mean, yeah. Ridiculous. Like I know. It, so uh, yeah. vi viral. We call that. I mean, I mean, I heard that viral is anything over 10,000. Oh, you crushed. And I've heard 20. Super viral. <laughs> so let's you just call it like viral. mega. viral. No. Mega viral. Mega viral. Yeah, mega. But no, I could absolutely absolutely see like, oh my gosh, now I have this, you know, I don't get a ton of clients that aren't referrals. You know, when you look at, at your average, what your intake looks like, but I would say three or four a month from social media. And after that, now it's like four or five, six or seven. That's so, and they're ton. just from yeah. totally people that I don't know. That's the and weird they're DMing part. And you, mm -hmm. and then your, what's your process on that? You're responding back I like, mean, hey, like you're managing this I'm shit? I'm working on that process, <laughs> yeah. Shane. I do have some help. But yeah, no, we have, you know, it's it's always evolving. And Yeah, I was going to say, gonna... because again, coming full circle, like meeting you from the mailer and you're out there, as we were saying, sort of door knocking yeah. in two yeah. cents, right? Yeah. But you're meeting agents, right? Because that was, you're, you're out there growing mm -hmm. the agent business right. because they refer you clients sure. of theirs. And now with what you've done with social media, I was going to ask you, do you have an idea of percentage of mm -hmm. agent referral business versus what you get from just yeah, social media? Absolutely. Like I would imagine it's she knows her far numbers. weighted. It's, yeah. <laughs> it's like, I know that shit, Jesse, stop. Yeah. Here's the I answer. do know some numbers, but yeah. no, Jesse, it's definitely equalizing when if you would have asked me that question a year ago, it would have been like 1585. And now 85, 85 agent, agent referral, refer agent, okay. or banking, CPA referrals. Wow. And now, yeah. Closer so, to, it's cl getting close, closer. Get, getting closer wow. to being equal, which is, feels very good. Because yeah. the other thing that is, I've learned that is fascinating, you know, everybody in marketing, you always want to be able to just turn it up or turn it down, right? Like that would be ideal mm -hmm. to help you scale when your company's ready or when your team's ready. So just the the almost inkling that that can happen like oh i know i'm going to be going on an extended trip like i'm going to chill for a and literally it does slow yeah when you don't show up for online sure. like that's just there's no other marketing platform i have a mba with a focus in brand management that means nothing mm -hmm. because that was <laughs> Sounds really the early 2000s. Like, yeah. So I'm... that's always mind-blowing to me <laughs> that i totally wasted that much money on a marketing degree that before there was social media because yeah. now yeah. it literally doesn't matter. Yep. Um, but it matters though. It, no, does matter. it, does. it does matter. It does matter. No other platform or no other um, you know, campaign or method of marketing can you have a direct cause and effect like social media. As a media right. so. uh, brand awareness and you know, one is there another return. like lead pillar that you can recognize as a as another contribution to so you're you're saying you're about fifty fifty on agent referrals. I mean really agent, that's and, what we focus on. There, you know, we'll do some like feel good brand awareness touches, you know, here's a cute little tchotchke at Christmas kind of things. But for the most part that's that's, that's more focused on the sphere of yeah, influence, right? right. Yeah. Your own relationships like that, than, and yeah. yeah.
but so no. It's super heavy in the social and mm-hmm. the digital space. Yeah. And how it, long have you been, I guess, invested? I would say about four years. Wow. And it really is, you know, I crunch numbers all day long. So it's a creative outlet that I enjoy. Like I, but I remember when Facebook came on the scene, my business partner at the time slash mommy, she was like, what? Why do people care what I'm eating for lunch? Why would I put that out there? And I'm like, I don't know. Damn just, it, but I'm going to get some people to it. follow me. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> so, you know, just tried to like bust out Facebook mm-hmm. and max out my 5,000 friends bef- before Instagram was a thing. And um, I don't know, but it felt fun to do. And like you guys. At the beginning, it was more so like kind of what you imagine you're suggesting is at the beginning, it was more personal. Right, it right. Was, like it was more focused on, hey, what am I doing? Just being connected, being out there, totally. which obviously you're very well connected in the community, in your hyper community, in um, different philanthropic things. I know you're heavy on growing women and business and yeah. all this stuff, like just amazing. Um, and sit on councils too. You, yeah. what, what's your Forbes finance council? I what? I mean, no big deal. Oh, no really? big deal. Not a big when deal. they ask yeah, me a so question, I'm throw like, that out there. Oh, somebody else go next. <laughs> yeah. I don't um, major but, imposter but syndrome. So <laughs> as that natural progression where it was more personal, then you started to be more calculated about some of right. the business. And, right, your, like, and, oh. and at the time, which we'll just use the four years ago, mm-hmm. it was more hyper-focused to lending and lending oh, experience yeah. mm-hmm. and and that that how that looked for buyers, rates, right. payments, um, et cetera. Mm-hmm. Right. Totally. And I think we've all gotten smarter in this space because nobody at the end of the day, in my opinion, really knows it. Nobody has a degree in. So I think uh, one of the things in the coaching or podcast or webinars that I watch that you create these pillars of content and some of them are very vague to reach like a giant pool or tunnel of people like everybody cares about the weather today. Mm -hmm. And then some are more specific, but you have to have a way to kind of get them in Mm -hmm. in the first place. And then they're like, oh, now I see what your other pillar is, you know, of your three pillars of content, maybe it's more specific. So some things are kind of generic in general, but it's just such a ongoing learning curve of Instagram is so different than LinkedIn, Mm -hmm. so different than TikTok, that it just seems so fun to always be in that exploration learning mode. It was there like a mind shift time that you can remember, this is going to be, I guess, a two-part question. So it's pretty evident that now you're, you're shifted your focus on your accounts as more of like a business kind of Mm -hmm. structure, right? Was there a point in time that goes back to where you can identify like that was when it happened? Kind of. I remember having friends saying like, you never post about your kids anymore. Right. Like, especially those moms. Those moms. (laughs) And I'm like, well, first of all, they're teenagers and they hate me. So they're not like little, yeah, they're not little kids anymore. They don't come over their holes. They like roll their eyes when they see moms on Facebook or whatever. Yeah. Um, but yes, I can. Um, there. I remember when I got my first lead, I was like, wait, is this a scam? Is this like some troll poacher? And I remember when I got my first troll. Wow. I was like, <laughs> you, made, you made it at the troll. Right. That's You're like you know. being mean to me online. Oh, my gosh. Wow. <laughs> that seemed like, you know, significant. let's not bring up agents right now. Yeah. OK. Yeah. <laughs> That's a good There's thing. a lot of that. So, so the mind shift happened and then. I guess, do you think there was something that like it it shifted the way you do your content now, right? Yeah, I would definitely say like during the pandemic, I have always been in business development. Like even in our mortgage company, I'm a mortgage lender, third generation, but I am not, I'm the rainmaker, right? Like I bring in the deals, here's the stuff, like here's the contracts, make this loan close. And then I go out and get more you know, carcasses or whatever they say, Carcasses, (laughs) like pull the meat back to the cave. Um, But during the pandemic, like you can't go anywhere. How am I going to do my job if I can't go to 15 events and network and do business development and sit on these committees? So I'm like, I have to do social media and I need to do it well. And I need to make sure it's like on brand and somewhat sophisticated and not like goofy and Mm -hmm. silly, because in my world of lending, you know, you're supposed to have a certain, um, you know, reputation that you're loaning money and you're FDIC Persona, and yeah. yeah, right. Like nobody's going to trust me if I'm out there like TikTok dancing to like loan them millions of dollars and, you know, <laughs> that their interest rate's not going to change. And anyway, so I think during the pandemic, it made me feel very nervous about my ability to keep bringing Needs. in business right. if I couldn't be out networking. So 
I was like, okay, if 15 people see this, that's almost like me going to an event and kissing 15 babies. Which yeah. was the shift it's of like doing a local events. Anyway. Right. Yeah. Local yeah. events, trying to meet up, yeah. meetups, coffee ups, Right, whatever. like that thing was, was really when digital. I was like, You okay. substituted social right. networking for, mm-hmm. do you still do the in-person networking? I do, but I can, I have to remind myself often because I, you get complacent. You're like, oh my gosh, <laughs> another rubber chicken dinner. You know, <laughs> like I don't want to go to that event tonight. Like I'm tired. Is there a fun event that you like to go to? Like that maybe agents host, and this might be self-serving. Um, like if- I would love to go to your event, chain. <laughs> <laughs> that was an informal well, invite. Uh, yeah, you're, you're more than invited. No, but like as an idea thing, so I know like lenders, um, I mean, you. I don't know if you get invited to a lot of things. You probably get invited to a lot of charitable events for your for the contribution. But like agents are constantly trying to get lenders, insurance, and other reps to sponsor their events. Sure. I'm sure you get those asks a lot. Mm-hmm. Is there something that you're like, wow, I'm interested in? Which doing it that. used to be the other way around. You yeah. used to go out and offer all of that yeah. stuff. And I, mean, I imagine and I, it's different now. I mean, I do still for yeah. sure. You're, um, you're, you're just like agents. you guys, you don't want to. Um, try to partner with anyone that you know is not going to be a good fit. But I would say, yes, of course. Like, I I feel like the, the world has really gotten better about, like, making cool events. Like, mm-hmm. there's some cool things and ideas. And so they're they're getting more creative, which I enjoy, you know. Yeah. Because I think after the pandemic, we're like, oh, my. Like, people coming back to work and wearing jeans instead of suits. Like, that kind of stuff. We're just, like, getting a little bit more, like, less rigid and more transparent. Yeah. That's a good word. Exactly. Yeah. Interesting. Yeah. yeah. They um it's funny because the um those events where you know they're it's kind of a hybrid. You're doing the events but you're also getting social with the event. So it's kind right. of an event. No, Jesse. Like it's called a social event. Like yeah. you're now broadcasting it right. to be more And sometimes social. I yeah. think people are only going to these events to, post- to right. become to make digital content. events. Yeah. Right. Yeah, digital yep. events. In fact, yeah. the there is another organization that yeah, you just go and take pictures like that's like a thing too. A, they they have a, a selfie thing. Um, yes. their business. Wait, I thought in our business it's called lifestyle. Right. Lifestyle, like isn't it? Or lifestyle your photos. Property. You can go like, rent. Get the fuck out of my you can go rent a May. What's it called? Was it those fancy cars? Start with an M. A May. A Mercedes. No. Mm, Mazda. 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 Okay. Yeah. yeah. Mazda. You can go rent a one of those. Take yeah. a picture in front of it. Yeah. Yeah. That's a, that's another rent to take a picture. That's right. Yeah. Or a Corvette or so Camaro. We do a Camaro. Or a Ferrari. Or a Camaro. Camaro. Oh, we, yeah. we did a Camaro. A 19, we actually did a Camaro. Yeah. We rented. We should, a, we rented I like a Camaro, Camaro from the eighties. That was right. my first. Sixty-seven. Like, Sixty-seven Camaro. Sixty-seven. Camaro. Yeah. Seven. Great year. Yeah. That was I called I lifestyle shoot. Yeah. Yeah. Um, so you're going to so fun events. You'll go to. you I guess you love selfies. Sounds like you're really into really always always into that. Um, I guess like so a a question. How do you like separate? You have a very large social presence and a very large following. How do you like separate that engagement and getting back to DMs and that and like posting shit and then like actually focusing on your actual job, your actual life, like your family? That's such a great question. I will say that like, you know, early on, my, I probably was guilty of maybe like some, you know, borderline exploitation. Mm-hmm. Like, you know, mm-hmm. you do feel weird, like putting your kids on camera. And when Facebook first came out, people would say or they would have these like law enforcement officers come to the elementary school and like, don't put your kids on first day of school in right. front of their sign. And you're like, oh, my gosh. Yeah. But I do. Um, and my family would be like, oh, my gosh, mom, please don't take another picture. Blah, 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 <laughs> right. You know, for sure. But I just do life and try to be authentic. Obviously, I'm not going to be on camera without makeup on. Like, let's be sure. real. Like, mm-hmm. I'm still Vanity. a woman of a certain age. And and so um, I do, but I do try to just keep it real and not always so um, like stuffy and and um, scripted. But I do use my family and I do use the people who are around me and my everyday life. But it does take so much time. And thank goodness I have a team that helps like do the real work of like, you know, closing loans right. that like mm-hmm. pay the bills. Yeah. So <laughs> that has to happen. Mm-hmm. Our real jobs. And so much of our jobs, like you guys, you can't put on social media. It's very confidential. Sure. I'm going to go on and talk about like people's personal finance finances and the like twists and turns of a closing and things are very personal. And sometimes you also can't talk about things that are happening because your client will be like, she's talking about me. Yeah. That was my, oh, yeah. You know, mm-hmm. like it's happened to me. I, yeah. yeah. You guys know how that yeah. feels. So sometimes, you know, <laughs> but yeah, at the end of the day, lots of it are drafts and not maybe happening in real time. You know what I mean? Yeah. You're just like saving up some 
Is there anything you do to protect your like your mind space? Like, does your phone go on D and D, which is not done with dragons? <laughs> yeah, right. Do not disturb. Do not that's disturb. a hard acronym yeah. to, to get do into. Do not disturb. My but, husband says you are not McDonald's, and your hours are eight. To hell eight. Yeah. yeah, eight to eight. Eight to eight. Eight to eight. Yeah, eight to eight. Shit. I mean, listen, that's that's we all day, know yeah. that if we have eight a crazy eight. deal and just need to like be talking at ten thirty yeah. at night. You, not anymore, gonna, though. It's gonna happen. Yeah, but not anymore. Yeah. I mean, I'm just saying yeah. it's great because I feel like a lot of the industry That's are so starting true, to st- are, are starting to set these right, like come these on. boundaries. boundaries. Yeah, yeah, these boundaries yeah. because it's just not, it. Yeah. It used to just be. It didn't right. matter. We were just so available all the time. Jesse, and that's I, so I think true. I I've, wondered wh- because for the lending side, at the end of the day, there's not a ton that can happen when the bank closes no. fundings. But other than, like playing therapist to our clients or our agents or whoever's freaking out right so you're i've wondered yeah. why that has subsided but you're right it is yeah. an industry change yeah we we need it, it. needs to change more yeah. I, th- I think too and, and i don't know if that is because there's so many agents and, and lenders that are fearful that if they don't sure. are, or aren't are not extremely reactive and oh, don't yeah. you know offer their services 24 hours a day yeah. that they'll lose business which they might but I think what we talk about all the time is like you would lose the the right business or the wrong right. business rather. You'd lose the business yeah. you probably don't want to retain anyway. Yeah. yeah, I think we used to, yeah, it was yeah. always that. We were always in fear of yeah. losing. But I mean, now with social sometimes. media and being able to connect, it's like, oh, well, you wake up with a new lead because right. it's just connected. While you were right. sleeping, someone DM'd you and you're like, oh, you wake up. You, know? right. yeah. you don't lose them as fast because yeah. usually now the That's lead so isn't a cold lead right like they're not it's picking a, up it's actually phone. a warm plus plus lead they've because they just because researched your ass they're re- they yeah they're connecting you. with they you already for a reason all the things. right that's yeah. so true yeah. Jesse. So you're, it's, you used to which feel feels like, a little less stressful right yeah right because before they were like i would freak out if i was on vacation like if one of my real estate partners called me and i didn't answer well they'll just call number two you know but you're right like there is a reason you know you're already somewhat vetted so since you bring up real estate partners i want to segue into real estate because you got your license (laughs) you got your license you you became a real estate agent i did within the last two years right yes right so um i'm really interested to know a lot of things about that but what i mean in your third generation and lending and been in lending a long time, multiple um, mortgage business brokerages. Why the fuck what? would you be an agent? Yeah. What? <laughs> no, let's just die right yeah, in. No, it's an extremely impractical Thank approach. Thank pulling the question out of my mouth. Dude, I just couldn't you, get it. No. I mean, I, you know. And you said horror be stories. Be tactful. Be tactful. Yeah. No, I, I want to be tactful, okay. but it's hard to be Well, tactful. then don't be tactful. Don't be tactful. <laughs> There are so many, well, you guys know, because we all have to deal with those agents and it became very exhaustive to constantly be coaching and Mm. writing the contracts and doing their job, doing doing their job, helping them do their work. Right. And especially I'd say, you know, in this most recent sort of wave that there were so many new agents and I'm like, this is so crazy. I just Mm. can't anymore. Like Mm -hmm. I'm just leaving money on the table and I the the agents that I felt like I was helping weren't getting it, you know what I mean? And so I just felt like it was time. And it was during the pandemic. Yeah. So I was home, similar. like, okay, well. and, and And do you think that part of it too was, I mean, cause I know your amazing uh, husband uh, is, right. a, is, is, is in business with right. you and, and you guys like operate that deal. business. Right. So at the end of the day, where you just reached a level of comfort to maybe yes. sort of Get, For sure, Jesse, 100%. And, and learn it more and get yeah. to, and it wasn't even when you, when you set off to do it, it wasn't like, hey, I'm just going to become a full-time right. agent. It was like, I'm going to get be a master of my trade. Right. I'm going to get this license Absolutely. because I'm already helping a lot of people. I might as well know the, the, right. the logistics of it. Yeah. And then it was th- at yeah. that point you started to kind of. Like, you know, oh, just okay. keep, it was on Friends the sideline. You got your yeah. license and you're on the sideline and you're watching right. some of those professionals in the industry. Totally, yeah. totally. When you introduce yourself, do you introduce yourself as a lender or as an lender. agent? Lender, lender, lender first always. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Yeah. And then I mean, that's into- just like what I am in yeah. my blood. Like literally. Yeah. Unfortunately, sometimes. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> when the rates are in the seven. It is in your blood, yeah. Yeah, generation. but right, like I just... I know one of the questions that Shane wants to ask, which you and I've already chatted about this before. Oh, I'm sure which it's is on ironic. everyone's mind whenever they see it. Yes. I'm thinking devil's advocate. 
if I worked with a lender and I also found out he or she had a, a real estate license, in my mind, the first thing I'm thinking is what most humans think, that's a conflict. Like now the, we've right, talked about yeah, the right. business that this lender was gonna send me, she's going to absorb. You mean for realtors, it's a conflict. For, like, yeah, yeah. Oh, yeah. for other agents, sure. now you've got Oh license, yeah, totally. Which, I mean, yeah. I had to make a very calculated risk. Yeah, that's it super was risky. Super, and I certainly lost some real estate partners a hundred percent, like some that were shocking to have lost, to be honest. But I took that calculated risk knowing I had to bet on myself like, okay, that dude or that gal sends me <laughs> seven deals a year. Can Leslie Heimer send myself yeah. seven deals a year? Yeah. Can I step up and make sure that I can replace that? Absolutely. What strategies are we going to implement to make sure that I, like I definitely, and to be honest, I would have gotten my real estate license long before if that fear wasn't part of the equation because I knew that that is going to be, yeah, you know. it's an outcome of, it's gonna of happen. that decision right. for sure. So, I mean, well, yeah, clearly you're a calculated person. That was something. Yeah, yeah. no, but that's Probably such said, a great question. 20, 25% right. of my business because yeah, of this decision. For sure. Can I make it up? And that's probably well, a deeper. It was more plus, like 75%. Plus yeah. you're on one of the greatest teams in the city of Orlando. Aww. So you would have jumped on that team a long time ago as well. But um, so one of the questions I have is um, talking about real estate and lending is um, who's worse at communicating? Ooh. Real estate agents or lenders? Mm. <laughs> I'm sorry. Yeah. Real, I'm sorry. Real estate agents or the clients like yeah it, it, from the lender perspective yeah from the lender oh man there goes another 75 percent. <laughs> no, exactly shade no. i'm gonna have no friends I mean, left it's after agents this. for sure no, i mean but, hey, lenders i'm gonna tell you the secret like, this is this is self-help the, like, this, this is okay it's, it's, Len- there, lenders, I hear the secret i mean we just loathe the agent ah! Oh. That's okay. You're an agent too. So you Right. Well, and honestly, that's like that's half the reason that I didn't do it for so long because I was like, I can't go to the dark side. I in my blood oh. have I want to be on my tombstone that this person will elevate and the funny mend thing is, the relationship. Funny thing is agents would probably say Lenders are awful. Yeah, they're, they're so they evil. The lender, you know, right. Sure. But no, honestly, that we always say that that's just the part that makes our job so stressful is mm-hmm. the, the client is is coachable and listening and excited. But the agents either side just get so emotional and panicked. And we as lenders probably close, you know, upwards of 20 deals a month when on the real estate side, we might only have one, two, three, four closings a month. So it is more stressful. And we get a little desensitized as the lender. We're like, calm down, John. Yeah. I know this is your first closing of it's the year, fucking but you're going to, right. <laughs> you're going to be able to make your mortgage payment. Like stop acting yeah. like such a rookie. Like yeah. this, ha- like it just, the pressure and some of them just really get, they, I feel like they're just in their wrong business. It's such a stressful business and they can't handle it. Like yeah, they cannot calm maybe. themselves down. They, right. They're just calling screaming and making my girls cry. And like, I mean, it really now, like you say, we've kind of been able to be like, yeah, that's not going to happen anymore, John. So After lose time. my number. Yeah. It still yeah. happens, yeah. but it's between right. now. <laughs> yeah, exactly. <laughs> yeah. But, but the, they just, yeah. yeah. I mean, just really. And I always say like, t- it's the same way with the loan officers, the type A salespeople, a high emotion, high energy that comes with that dichotomy. But you just really have to level yourself up to like calm down. Yeah. Like, yeah. and let's solve the problem. So <laughs> when in, in, in that, <laughs> so you, it's interesting because you're- Please edit like, all of that out, by the way. No, <laughs> no that's amazing. No, like, I mean, well, you I, just said what every lender wants to say, but is probably oh, too not. afraid to say. But, but now right. they have a platform but and now, practical brokers. No, that's important. Right, right? No, but I, now I, I have no- I promise you, yeah. but I mean, that's amazing that you, you have that. Yeah, well, I was, but I'm the funny thing, to say the that funny shit, thing was that true. Now, now putting your real estate hat on, yeah. because- you know, the interesting thing, I'm not, I mean, obviously I'm not saying real estate agency. No, I can definitely I see. I, do. I blame them. The, the process <laughs> sure. of lending and, and, and it is a process with the clientele, mm-hmm. right? Um, is that, and this is, this is on a macro level. Right. Clientele. Yeah. This is not being specific no. about any spe- client themselves, yeah. but it's very challenging. Like the whole process the whole and process. the emotions that come involved with it. And now you are wearing the real estate agent mm-hmm. side, wearing their hat, yeah. which is, a whole nother layer of emotions and drama. I will and say, the here. Jesse, is there a question in here? Yeah, because, well, no, I was just going now words. you understand. I, I have eaten some words. Our, right. I really have. Where it's it, the challenge. Is it's real. just a different set of challenges, mm-hmm. you know? Like now I'm having to face to face with you and your mama and your uncle and this house and the inspection and the thing. Like it's just, it's, it's just, we say all the time, it is just such a hard mm-hmm. business. Nobody well, appreciates it. Yes. And yeah. lending. 
lending, just yeah, the, the industry. industry. Nobody appreciates well, lending that. because you are, you're privy to what is viewed as like really sensitive information. Yeah. Like no one in public, how much do you make a year? Like that's yeah, something no. nobody and now a lender. I want all that, your credit score. Yeah. I'm going to pull up history. I want to know why you spent oh, yeah. this money yeah. on that. And certainly <laughs> like in Orlando. That. Why did you apply for this? How yeah. did you know? Right. Like we know shopping on this website, Jesse. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> Seems a little suspect. Right. Don't. And that's one of the things that I always appreciated about Jesse and our transactions together because he used to be on the lending side. And the, the hardest part of it is there's so much like depths and layers and things that have to happen that I could either tell you, my real estate partner, that what actually happened is John has this weird credit score. Mm-hmm. And if he loses one point, but his wife put on and her DTI is has this credit, but that's not actually her credit cards, their daughter. So we're trying to prove that it's off her credit. Like, so, but you don't want to know that you're like, just close the loan. Well, close the loan. I don't but, care. Yeah. You know? and, and to your point, I would imagine from the lending perspective that it would be extremely challenging. This is a question. I'm, it is. It, it is. Okay. I'm getting okay. there. I'll, I'll hold on. It's got to be very challenging to when you run into those scenarios on mm-hmm. the lending side to t- explain to the agent right. what the issue is. And then and then the agent's like, okay, well, what does that mean? Yeah. yeah. And then they're right. like, and then you end up being the one delivering the bad news. Always. Right? And Jesse, how many times have I told you <laughs> in a deal when I'm like, Jesse, thank you for getting it. Like, ho- this is what's happening. This tax return said this, but then they pulled this business statement and this business statement didn't match this cash flow. And he's tracking with me, right? He's like, oh my gosh, well, what if we try this? Most agents, 90% of the agents are like, I don't know anything that you're talking about. That's not my swim lane. Like, you need to fix this and close it. That's your problem. Like, yeah. right. Wait, yeah, thanks. What? I thought it was our problem. Yeah. Right. <laughs> I thought what we were a team. What right. Here? And, uh, and like, no exactly like yeah. Jesse would say, like, well, you need to call him and tell him because they're going to lose their minds. Okay. okay. Yes. Yes. Okay. Yes, yeah. sir. Make him do like, all the work and close it. That's yeah. what Got made it. me be like, I cannot. You were wearing that double hat. You're wearing an agent hat. And, and yeah. Like, I wish I was on a camera, but I could no longer, like, do, do that. I mean, I think agents have the same kind of, like, mm-hmm. feeling. Because, like, you mentioned it during the, during the pandemic, there was a shit ton of agents that got their licenses. Mm-hmm. Right. You guys have um, to deal with those. And now we're still kind of dealing with them. We're, but it's also, the mar- with the market shifting, I think it's also eliminating a lot of those. Right. Because they're coming up on their two-year renewal. So a lot of right. people are not going to renew. Yeah. But I think we deal with it, too, where, like, when we have an agent that just doesn't know their, their head from their asshole and they enter the transaction, we end up doing both sides of the job and they walk away with Yep, with totally. So yeah. I think the frustration is mutual, but... It's interesting to hear your perspective of it because you're, again, like privy to so much more information and so much more about the transaction. Like your knowledge level is extremely high. Of, well, that's of very everything. kind of you, Shane. Yeah. I definitely have a much greater appreciation because I can tell you we lenders and processors and underwriters always just thought that realtors just hated us. But they hate everybody. We they hate, hate you guys. Yeah. Oh, yeah. You hate each other. Like how mean they are. I'm always like, hi, my name's Leslie. Oh, my gosh, I'm going to show your house. Yeah. And they're like, yeah, and. And I'm like, oh my God. Text me. Right. Yeah. Like they're just. Don't call me. Like Why there's an immediate, like that is what my life's mission is just to not be so shitty. There's just like this yeah. immediate combative relationship with a human you've never even met before. That is very unnatural Which to you me. Just said, a lot of ego. You just said something that ego, is, yeah. it should resonate in our entire industry is don't be an asshole. Just don't be an asshole. <laughs> like, you know what I mean? Like, just right. check yourself. Check I mean, your, like, the, we're all in this together. We're all in this together. Right? It's like, a component. You don't and, even know or have a reason to hate me yet. Like, you can after yeah. this transaction, but not now. Not like, yeah, I'm nice. We haven't even gotten to the objective yet. <laughs> right. It's, yeah, it's I'm always like, so, I'm a mother. <laughs> don't it, be. It does, it does. That adds such, such a, a, a layer. Of, a, a dynamic oh. that I feel with and uh, with the pandemic too, where we've all sort of started to put mm. boundaries, mm-hmm. not just with time, but with people. Yeah, like no, because bro, my mental just health ends yeah. up like I, I'm my not willing to. Right, I'm you. just not willing. Uh, yeah, to go down this path right. anymore. And 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 it's crazy totally. because before years ago, it was like, <sighs> hey, I'll just as what is it, eating crow, right? I'll just yeah. continue to eat crow totally. to get to the deal, right? Because that's what we have to do. Yeah, and now we're like. F totally. off. Like, I'm out. Mm-hmm. I'm yeah. done. Like totally. go, go find someone else. And, and we're we're more equipped to do that. Right. Because of the social media and our mm-hmm. connections and maybe more, you know, direct leads that want to work with mm-hmm. us versus just the yeah. cold ones, you yeah. know. But um and maybe like truly more awareness about how important mental health is. Like, yeah, exactly. Like that is some stressful There's shit. Exactly. Crazy like suicide rates too. Totally. And, and the industry as a right. whole. And then the people that have the mental health. I mean, there's a there's a lot of problems yeah. that I think are because there's no boundaries set right you're just a wild yeah. and f- like just like full reign open access respond. everybody has access and 
Yeah. So we have some rapid questions at the end, but this is not one of them. What I want to ask you is real estate or lending? Which Lending. Lending. Okay. Wait, for what though? No, I want to, what what do you like better? Oh, Oh, real estate. Whoa. Really? Just, well, y'all just make more money. That's okay. just plain and simple. Yeah. Yep. I mean. <laughs> For now. <laughs> right. <laughs> I don't know. Yeah. Well, every time somebody asks me that, it changes each month. It does change based each month. Based on the rates? Based on the rates, based on the deals, based yeah. on the market. Like the market was really fun the beginning of this year. Like that was super well, fun. But when you say we make more money, let me back I, up on that. Because you're, you're, I mean- Maybe Shane, I'm I, you can't be, you cannot win this. Yeah, I was debate. Say, no, 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 but, but, but I want for like people that are listening, time, though, right? I think no, it's easy for people to say you make more money because they can see a percentage that's based off a sales price, and they think that's what we make. I know, but right. no, I'm not talking about that. That's I'm talking, what I'm about, talking net, about net, 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 like net, net, for net, real, net, net, right? Are, so the, maybe three like percent on a you, purchase. Well, you, could, and then I'm actually taking home 30, 40 percent of that. Yeah, that's what I'm seeing in my pocket. Right. Right, but I don't is, think people do that calculation. Right. No, they need to. Saying. Yeah. Customers need you. to like at the end of the day, we all get paid like McDonald's workers do hourly right. equivalent by the yeah, time. Sure. Trust me, yeah, like yeah, 100%. Is, yeah, but right. I'm saying like just in a in a similar industry, because I think, you know, it's very similar. The jobs we do every day in the mortgage industry, the margins have been like you can Google it. There's lots of information out there about mm-hmm. it shrinking, shrinking, shrinking because mm-hmm. of what happened with the rates, what happened with the feds. Mm-hmm. And I'm talking about when the rates were Here's artificially. It, yeah. yeah years ago and there's so much compliance after the Dodd-Frank Act be post 2008 that there has to be crazy amounts of layers and attorneys and legal uh, post auditing post closing checks that are inserted in the process that you nobody can make money it's just yeah. unbelievable how regulated it is so in any one given transaction i have to have a processor a post closer a pre audit check a funding guide like all those people have to make money mm-hmm. there's just no more left which which equates to quantity right which wow. ends up you have to the raise margins. the number where exactly. you said you're closing 10, yeah. 20 so deals it's just a month a volume versus game. a real estate agent, maybe yeah. one or two exactly. on average. Absolutely. And, and, that's yeah. that's if, the if that, but... that's the difference. Okay. It's just there's so much pressure to like if you're not closing 20 or 30 loans a month, you can barely make your, you know, your what Brilliant. you need to make for your branch. I mean, it's just very and I, you know, the pendulum will probably swing the other way, but they just got super hyper complianced after mm-hmm. 2008. And it's almost impossible to close a loan. I mean, wow. it's just mind blowing everything mm-hmm. that has to be done. Well, you're closing a lot, so you're clearly doing something well. Yeah. Well, you know, you know how salespeople are. Yeah. You're only good as your last month. So we'll see. <laughs> That's for sure. <laughs> so coming back to the social media, uh, when we were talking about at the beginning, like you're the 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 warm plus plus leads, right? Mm-hmm. That you get the connections, let's call it, when yeah. they come in. How much of those are real estate versus lending now? Because you are wearing both Yeah. Hats. I mean, it's definitely still more lending. More lending right? Yeah. I think yeah. most people see me as a, a lender and that's obviously- That's your primary focus. Yeah. And that's like the depth of my knowledge. You know what I mean? Mm-hmm. Like, obviously. Um, but I do get a lot like of just questions, mm-hmm. you know, which I w- need to always like massage my little funnel mm-hmm. so that I'm dripping on them later and loving on them. Because if they have a question, maybe they're thinking about it. But definitely, I think most of my content is mortgage related. So most of my- questions and leads are mortgage related. And and also when you, again, back to when you decided to get your real estate license, mm-hmm. did part of it have to do with, um, clearly you were already you know coaching real estate agents and coaching the clients and doing all of that, not mm-hmm. getting paid. But at the end of the day, you just getting your license was an avenue of you to receive referral fees, right? Wasn't that right. one of the main reasons why? Yes. Because it wasn't predom- it wasn't primarily right. to be a real estate agent. Right. Yeah. It was to say, hey, look, I'm helping. <clears throat> like I, I get a lot of referral. I get a lot of right. sphere. People will call you because they did a loan and they're like, hey, we want to move and buy a house. Right. But we don't have an agent and you could refer them I out. I can refer and them. Now you and you actually get referral fees. Yeah, as well. absolutely. Yes. Okay. 100%. It's also probably like you're confident, you're smart, you're badass, and you're like, I can do that job better. And I think well, that was yeah. That's part. I mean, of that's it. like I mean, I, I that's that's my takeaway on it. I, and then I, the follow up is, and I, I want to get paid, <laughs> and I want to get paid. But I, you I, know I, what? Yeah. I think the impetus, if I'm being honest with myself, and I'm glad that Jesse gave me a better phrase to use than like the inappropriate <laughs> one that came to mind, is I was just really tired of eating crow. Yeah, and I yeah. couldn't take the abuse anymore. And I'm like, you know what? Yeah, you shouldn't. Yeah, yeah. No, I'm. I think that's amazing for you to have that courage and yeah. be able to say, you know, very scared. This, I'm not doing this. I'm drawing the line here. Right. Um, it's Just, impressive. It's an impractical approach to lending that I think impractical I, I, I'm just impressed with. I think it's really cool. Thank you. So with that, 
we're going to jump into a rapid, oh my God, a rapid fire water. segment. You got to be fast on okay. these because it's called rapid fire for a reason. <laughs> um, it's going to be four questions. I think we got four in here. And um, you ready? Yes. Okay. okay. Drink your water. Got the. La la la. Content batching or spontaneous? Batching. Ooh, batch, please. All right, read receipts on or off? <laughs> on. On. These are so interesting. Oh, I love that answer. Yeah. Coffee or tea? Coffee. Yeah. I know. I wish I was more granola, but I'm not that no, I girl. I love coffee too. <laughs> this is this is a, iPhone or off brand? iPhone. Come <laughs> wow. on. Do I look? And uh, since you are a real estate agent as well as a lender, what is the best day to list property? Thursday. And what's the worst day? Monday? Yeah. <laughs> yeah, is that true? Oh, yeah, that's yeah. great. That's no wrong answers, no oh. wrong answers here. There's no wrong answers here. I you I would yeah, you guys would be the ones to know that's that. That's an answer, amazing. Not me. Those are amazing responses. So Yay. What a, what a great Those uh, are fun. Those are, those are great answers. I love yeah. the fun rapid question you at the great. end. Yeah. Thank you guys. I feel like that was like very <laughs> all over Intense. the place. Yeah. This is like a lot that. of things. No, well, I think it's it's hard to stay in a funnel with right. you because you were a lender and are a lender mm -hmm. for so long and so good at it. And then transitioning to real estate yeah. and wearing multiple hats. Like it's it's hard to stay in like yeah. one little bucket no, I'm glad. with regards to that. So it is kind of all over the board yeah. because you wear multiple hats. And Leslie, but yeah, you're so good at like doing all the things and so intelligent and smart, articulated, just amazing. <laughs> go on, do go <laughs> like, on. Tell me more. No, I didn't stop. Even, I, I, there's so much. But, I, I like know. there's a lot to uncover, I, I feel like with you. And, and the so conversation kind. felt... Like it was fluid and seamless. And I would be really curious because I know people are listening to this and watching this and want to know how can we get a hold of Leslie? So what's the best way yeah. for people to, to reach you? Yeah, just Google me. Just Google my ass. Over. Well, no, well, no <laughs> one of the things we didn't Google get a chance to dive into, which I want to do so much, we're just running out of time, but I'm it's your exposed. social media. So, yes. And it's just off the charts. It's just so good. And I know that you're ultra calculated about it. You dial down You on Sundays, you're planning for the whole week. Like, there's just a, such a dynamic I want to got to bring into. her back, I guess. But yeah, I know. But at the end of the day, so your social media, like how would they find you? Yes. Le Leslie Heimer. I try to just make it H -E -I -M -E -R. Leslie H-E-I-M-E-R. H-E-I-M-E-R. Yes. Thank you, yeah. Jesse. I know. I definitely am an oversharer. So yeah. And what's your, what's the, what's the key? What's the key one? I mean, cause you're on TikTok too and all of it, but. I would say Instagram, Instagram is, Instagram. yeah, probably my most loved um, platform. platform. Yeah. Okay. Leslie underscore Heimer. Well, there it is. So that's Yay. how we, that's how you can get get into Leslie's life and check out all the cool content she's Sounds doing. Like a show, Leslie's life. Leslie's life. Luxury Welcome to Leslie's, Leslie's life. life. Yeah. Wow. I'm just stopping. Alliteration you too. is just yeah, there, there, you're like it's real estate and, and lending. Get out. Don't, yeah, don't, that's all you get. <laughs> get out of here. You know? I stalk you two all the time. You guys have such interesting, cool, high energy. Like I just am so grateful when other content creators, because that's what we are, right? Like know their vibe and are true and show up in their space and not try to be all, that's a hard thing to do. So yes, you guys it, both- it has a lot of Celsius behind it. There's a lot of Celsius. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, are you guys, totally. I think you guys should be getting a deal anytime here. I think, get I, think, on uh, that. I think so also. And if you're I listening like, to this and maybe you're Celsius. a Celsius brand <laughs> uh, Celsius. advisor or something, just, just go ahead and hook <laughs> us up on that. But we're gonna try <laughs> to wrap this bad boy up. Yeah. Uh, make sure to connect with Leslie on Instagram and our other socials at Leslie Heimer uh, for all of your lending and real estate needs. I mean, wealth of knowledge knowledge. Absolutely. And if there was something that came up during our conversation with Leslie that you just maybe want a little bit more information on, you can always leave a comment in any of um, the channels that we're posting this on. Email and us, text us. Email, text, yeah. but leave a comment. And if there's anything else that maybe you want us to ask Leslie on the second or third or the, the next round that we do, yeah. round go two. ahead and drop it because we'll make sure to ask her that. But we appreciate all of you watching, listening, wherever you're from, and uh, make sure to tune in for our next show. Thanks. Thank you, Leslie. Yay. Thank you, guys.